was good, he kept running, he received the handball and from 65 towards full forward, Mugovan in the van. Runs away from Morrison, handball to Kinch, the former Grogan medalist himself. Handball, getting down there, Kinch did well, oh Enright. The Himble with the turnover, Kinch, Tomlinson, they're starting to step it up here, the pan back of the pack couldn't mark, Kinch, oh the front and centre. Yeah, Kinch has been fantastic in the last five or ten minutes as well, just getting yeah. to the fall of ball and just working his hard, hard work to all the contests, which has been really good. And Goff it is, the recipient, and lays it off to his trusty little rover in Kinch. A nice lead came out from Aby. Shelton out wide, I heard a voice. It's Kinch. The bounce wasn't the best. Enright favoured him and a nice clean pair of heels. But what about the tackle from Kinch? Umpire says holding the ball. And he uses Kinch. Kinch in the back pocket, handball, They're under a little bit of pressure here. Two bites, couldn't mark, good work there by Kinch. Having a big quarter, Milliko, Kinch. Oh, oh, Pratt came in. This is Kinch, Kinch has the football from 48 metres. This is a big kick. Free kick, wasn't paid. And Kinch on the left foot has spotted up a loose player inside 50. Off. And now uh, Kinch with a little dinky kick to Bonnie. And by side attacking 50, Kinch had a good start to the game, started out a little bit. Uh, it's been a ball winner today. Six minutes gone now. Kinch, short. Now they run at it. This is four. F-A-U-R-E to Kimball for his second of the quarter. The party tricks have opened up. Kinch's his opponent. Kinch has been good throughout the day too. Yeah. Up they go again. There it is! The Panthers of Premiers for 2009. In what was a titanic struggle up to the last 10 minutes of the match, the crowd's gone ballistic. They're in trouble, the Tigers. Great pressure from Morningside. They've forced 
a uh, stoppage. Kinch getting in there to uh, force a neutral at left half forward for the Panthers. And that contest it's taken by Kinch has not really been sighted near the boundary line. And that's a neutral. And Nathan Kinch comes in to pick up his old mate Paul Shelton. The breaks. Kinch to Hackett to Kinch near the boundary line. Hand pass to Wilson. This is good contested footy at the moment in the pack. Hand pass comes out to Kinch. Kinch sweeps one along the boundary line. Unable to take it was Donaldson. And then a long kick towards Kinch who marks it left half forward. Dalton the supplier from half back. Kinch. Chips short and marks taken by Powell. Footy, they're still inside defensive 50, the Tigers. Davies' hand pass is stolen by Kinch. He gives it to Evans on the left from 30. Evans makes them pay. Takes the mark on the edge of the square. Hand pass to Kinch round the back. The left footer from 65 out goes deep in the power direction. Hand Move by Delbridge inside 50. Kinch is in the pocket and takes the mark. So Nathan Kinch, Drogan medalist of 2008. Tough side for a left footer out there, Beth. With the breeze yeah. uh, coming across your left shoulder as well. Yeah, pretty tricky, but, but Kinch, Kinch knows how to kick goals, so we'll see how he goes. We'll take some kick, and Nathan Kinch, oh, he has done it! He has threaded the needle from the left forward pocket. What a wonderful goal for Nathan Kinch. But still the Panthers are going to come forward. A hand pass from Wilson to four by hand to Kinch. By hand to Tomlinson on the inside. Good vision to Evans. 45 out off a step. Kicks towards goal. Fading through. Comes into the corridor for Kinch. And the back track a fraction but marked and has a bounce. No one going to him. A switch of plane out of the western winter. Comes to the back of the pack. High kick to the middle of the ground where Kinch finds himself at the drop zone. Takes a mark. Has Tomlinson running by. Ford. Shelton's little left foot kick is a beauty to Kinch. He marks in the pocket 35 metres out hard on the angle. Kinch has been fantastic in this both the third and fourth quarters. He's really come alive after half time. He's a left footer in the left forward pocket and already slotted one from this exact spot. How's it a second <laughs> time? He's done it again. Saluted as soon as he kicked it. He's like a pro golfer on the practice fairway, just going ping, 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 and they all go in the same spot. What a lovely finish from Nathan Kinch. 22 goals for morning. Hey, Kinchy. 200 games, mate. Unbelievable. Congratulations. Uh, you know, I think back to when you first came to, you know, the, the senior system at Morningside, and, you know, you were just such a sponge for information. You know, you absorbed so much in from some really intelligent football brains, you know, like the, the John Blairs, the Marty Melodies, the, the David Lillicoes. Nick Clarks, uh, Jack Barrys, you know, and you, you took that information and, and harnessed it to develop the tools to become a really good football player. And I think the most admirable thing is, you know, you, you maintain such a high level of standard from a personal perspective for such a long period of time, mate. It was, you know, really quite special. And, you know, on a personal front, I know you're not a, a big one for the personal accolades, but. You know, if you, you gave a kid a piece of paper and a pen and said, write down all you wanted to achieve in footy, I think uh, you've just about ticked off everything on that list. And, you know, it's something that you should look back on and think, wow, what an achievement. And I hope you do. And I hope tonight's the catalyst for you as your 200th game to, you know, kind of look back on your career and think, wow, what an achievement. But I'm really honoured to, uh, to have called you a teammate. And, uh, you know, even more honoured to call you a friend, a really good friend. and. Uh, I know that the boys would be uh, super pumped to run out every week behind you and Logs because, you know, when you think about gut determination and, and, and willingness to work hard, you know, you are the epitome of that and, uh, you know, such a special bloke to play football with but also such a great bloke to, uh, to, to hang around with. Mate, enjoy the night. Like I said, uh, have a few beers with the boys and, and take it all in and, uh, uh, mate, I'm sorry I couldn't be there tonight, but um, I'm really, really happy for you. I'm super jacked, and uh, I, I can't wait to catch up again soon. And uh, we can uh, catch up on what's going on in the world. Congratulations, mate. Okay, firstly, uh, I'd like to thank um, Callum and the Football Club for giving me the opportunity to speak today uh, on behalf of Nathan. It's uh, you know, a wonderful achievement, and I'm really chuffed to see you, you make this happen today. Um, Nathan, I remember when you first came along to the footy club to try and train with the seniors and, and break into, into the senior side, you, you were just a, a whippet of a, a young lad. Um, you looked more like you were a, an apprentice jockey rather than even a jockey. You were 
Uh, yeah, just a little short muppet weighing about probably 50 kilos by the looks of it. And I remember we glanced around looking to see how you got here, whether you rode on a bike or whether you came on a horse or what, because uh, there, there wasn't much of you. But um, you know, we soon saw that when you had got on the training track that you had some potential. You know, you're a, a raking long left foot kick. You know, you, you used to be able to kick it all of about 30 to 35 meters, and uh, everybody was in awe that you could kick it so far. So. Um, for the size of what you were, but you know you had you had deficiencies, obviously, um, that that you were prepared to work on and, and work hard on. You know, the, the biggest one I suppose was for a young a young guy your size uh, was that you weren't really great below your knees, and um, you know it was, it's a credit to yourself and to uh, Jeff Slater who worked with you and also uh, Martin Melody that they were prepared to put in a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with you and that you were prepared to be a, a real sponge and um, and learn from them and gain as much from them as you possibly could and uh, and really made that a, a strong point of your game as you did with your, with your running capacity. Um, you know, you, you in the finish you, had, you developed a motor that uh, was, was second to none in the competition. You know, your gut running was uh, um, inspirational not only to your teammates um, but also I reckon to other people within the competition and you set a new benchmark for uh, the ability to run repeat efforts and, and get onto the footy and carry it and break the lines and uh, it was it was a really great effort that you were able to do that. That, um, that led to you becoming a, a regular senior player as a small backman on baller and you know you had one hell of a season to, to win the Grogan medal and uh, that was that was you know a really um, great personal effort um, you know but to me one of the, the best the best moments I got out of footy with you is just after a couple of those grand final wins that we had where you're able to just sit back and I could see you basking in the glory of it and the, and the smile on your face and your eyes lighting up and really enjoying the, the camaraderie of uh, of your teammates and the, and the guys that you'd spent so many hard hours out on the oval with and in the gym with and things like that. So, uh, you know, I, I think that, that, that was, that's to me probably the highlight of your footy career. But when I look back, um, and I don't think anybody would have doubted that, you know, with your size it was always going to be difficult, but to, to actually have the, um, the determination, the ability to play 200 games is a great achievement. You know, you've become a club great. You've been a Grogan medalist, the club captain, um, now playing 200 senior games, been a, a premiership player three times uh, at the senior level. Um, but you know, most importantly, I, I think your best achievement has been the fact that you became a solid citizen uh, around not only the football club but the community and that uh, you've been a mentor to countless young men um, who have really been influ influenced by you and your efforts and your leadership both on and off the field. And, uh, and I think now the, your, your greatest achievement from here on will be, especially in, in the partnership with your lovely wife, um, will be how you handle being the ultimate role model and the ultimate mentor and that's in uh, becoming a father. And I'm sure that with the family upbringing that you've had and the, the solid um, parent line that goes with your family that uh, you'll, you'll be a great father and um, I'd like to congratulate you on, on that achievement as well and uh, I look forward to seeing you you around the football club for many years to come um, in coaching mentoring roles and, and bringing your children through this, through such a wonderful club so uh, well done today and uh, well done over the years and hope you, hope you have a great night sorry that I can't be there thank you so much Hi. Hey Kinchy. Hey boys. G'day everyone. Um, Kinchy, just want to say a huge congratulations to you, mate, on a wonderful achievement. Um, spent most of my career standing behind you and watching you go, mate, and I've loved it. Um, every weekend, you wind you up, off you go, mate, and it's been a pleasure to watch. Um, hardest gut running player I've ever seen. You get bashed from pillar to post, mate, and you just keep going hard at it. Um, really proud to have played with you. Um, and yeah, mate, a lot of people say it's something you look back on at the end of your career, but I would say to you, mate, 
this weekend, enjoy it, take it all in because it's one of the rare occasions that the day is just about you. So um, obviously you want to get the win and the team is trying to get the win, very important to the, the club but um, yeah mate, it's very, very rare that you can have a day where it's about you so lap it up and <laughs> hopefully one day you get to run through the banner with your kid as well mate so uh, all the best with that too. So, Hugh, you, you've got something to say? Good boy. See you, mate. All the best.